Hello, my friends. It's Sandy. Nala has joined us. You know, yesterday I got an email about whether once read our new take-in of nearly new books and uh, selling them back again to all of y'all for 50% off. And she said, can I bring in cookbooks? And I was like, you know what? Of course. And I should do that. So I got out some cookbooks and you guys, I have a, a lot, but I was thinking I would go through my thinking and what I'm going to um, keep. And there's some that, you know, the Crop family has ripped the pages out. We cook from Tucci so much. And in fact, everyone who is my child that has moved out has stolen my copy. So I always keep an extra one on hand. That's how much I love this book. So no one is getting it from once read. <laughs> Similarly, this is my go-to. I have almost the page numbers memorized for um, how to cook big batches of food when you need uh, stick to the ribs cooking, which I seem to all the time. Another Italian classic, the best meatball and spaghetti sauce uh, recipe out there. Party books, this is my all-time favorite. Uh, it is still in print, and it just has the cutest, funnest, easiest ways to throw a party, including oopie, how to make it look like you're a pro. From the 80s, I would never donate this. My Lee Bailey's Good Parties, he's the best. I would never get rid of my Ina. Judith Jones is the editor for um, Julia Child, and even though I don't, well, never cook for one, everything in here is fabulous and does leave um, leftovers. And, a, um, sorry, Sarah Leah Chase, who is another Ina Garden, huge influence, along with Anna Pump, whose book also I would never give. I like single-subject book cookbook so I really like just looking up eggplant or whatever in this one this is probably my all-time favorite it is out of print general um cookbook you're never gonna get it into once read <laughs> my much used and abused Martha Stewart general cookbook and my America's Test Kitchen oh my gosh my kids this is out of print so my kids fight over taking this but no I would notice within minutes if they took it. <laughs> so the things that I am gonna give to one Rat, I'm gonna bring them over this afternoon. I tried to do slow cookers. I, I mean, I bought one and everything. I don't know why. I've just not been doing it. Um, I did a cooking demonstration on Zoe Bakes Cakes. This is a great book, a uh, couple years old, no, couple years old only. Um, I loved it, but I just don't tend to make cakes very often. More of a cookie girl. This many, many awards, many awards, um, this one has won, but for one reason or another, um, I always use this and it's just, it's time. Someone else will love it. Um, another general cookbook that I, I, as I told you, I have my just bestie favorites. And so I just haven't used this one as much. So it's almost entirely new. I don't know why I never got into it. Um, and this one too, before COVID, I was going to cook for two all the time. And then within one day, like March 17th, all three of my kids came home from their um, universities and I haven't cooked for two of us since. So um, that is what I'm going to bring in this stack. And then I'm glad I dug around because I'm so happy and I've spent some time with um, all time favorites. But if that helps you once read, it's going to make you feel really good and make you rediscover the beauties you would never give to Prairie Path Books for the Once Read program. And that's okay.